Hello, my name is Joshua Gray, and I'm in my kitchen cooking up science. Today I am doing an experiment of great goop. By the end of this presentation, can you tell me if great goop is a solid or a liquid? You will need one half cup of cornstarch, one fourth cup of water, a bowl, a spoon, and food coloring if you would like. First to get started, pour one drop of food coloring in your water. Then pour your cornstarch in your bowl. Mix your water with your food coloring. And slowly pour your water in the cornstarch and mix slowly. As you can see, the cornstarch and the mixture of water is getting hard and stiff. So we're just going to mix it with our hands. What does it feel like? It feels squishy and soft. What does it look like? It looks gooey. When you squeeze it in your fist, it becomes hard like a solid. But when you let it run through your fingers, it becomes gooey like a liquid. I think it's a solid because when you squeeze it, you squeeze all the water out and it becomes to turn hard and solidly. Now can you tell me, is goo a solid or a liquid? After much investigation, I found that great goo is neither a solid nor a liquid. Why? Hmm, let's find out. It is called a collage substance because the cornstarch particles do not actually dissolve in the water. They spread evenly through the mixture. Some common colloids are jelly, marshmallows, cyanic plastic, and even the parts of the cells in your body. It's also a non-nutanial fluid because it has special properties. There are many non-nutanial fluids like ketchup and quicksand. In conclusion, we found that a mixture of cornstarch and water makes a really cool substance. So be sure to try this experiment at home with your parents. Join us next time at Joshua Science Lab.